Assalamu alaikum everyone and hello. My name is Ashrafu and today we are going to talk about the poem The Necrosic by Edgar Allan Poe. In our class, I didn't clarify what was the actual theme and analysis for the poem, therefore I made this video so that you guys can learn more about it, okay? Firstly, let us look at the historical context. The Necrosic by Edgar Allan Poe was a reactionary poem, means it was written as a response to the poet Letitia Elizabeth Langdon, or L.E.L., whom Edgar mentioned in the poem. In her poem titled Warning, Letitia wrote about how she was no longer interested in passion and love, and this triggered Mr. Poe to write a response. Let's continue to the poem. Here's the first four lines of the poem. To understand the poem, let us look at the warning the poem Letitia wrote. In her writing, she vainly said, I love not. We can find that she had turned her face from love. Nothing in that world could touch her emotions again as she had been due to those emotional and foolish things. Both since her words had no validity in the real world. For this reason, he marks Elizabeth's statement about love in this line. Love not, thou sayest it in so sweet a way. By referring to Xanthi, Poe refers to the philosophy of Socrates. In a sarcastic way, the poet satirizes Elizabeth's philosophy regarding love. In the last five lines of the poem, Poe again implements his poetic words to ironically comment on Elizabeth's thought process. He, he uses the satirical tone and tells her not to think in that manner. Love is not a kind of a feeling that negatively impacts a person. It is a source of living. Without love, one cannot survive. In the mythological story of Endymion, he also tried to cure his love. At last, he drastically fails in his pursuit. For his foolishness and excessive pride in himself, he died. Poe alludes to this tale of Endymion and Luna to throw light on the poet's misleading thoughts. In Poe's Overall tone, he is never reluctant to criticize Elizabeth Langdon's statement of love. Being a firm believer of love, being a firm believer of love's power himself, in a classic by Edgar Allan Poe contains several important literary devices. The major literary device used in the poem is an illusion. What is illusion? Illusion is a figure of speech in which an object of speech Illusion is a figure of speech in which an object of circumstance from unrelated context is referred to covertly or indirectly. The main allusion of the poem is made to L.E.L. or Letitia Elizabeth Landon's poem Warning. However, he also alludes to Socrates' wife Xanthi, the mythical figure Endymion and Luna in the poem. Apart from that, the poet uses irony in the line Thou sayest it in so sweet a way. In the usage of the word language, the poet makes use of synecdoche. What is a synecdoche? Synecdoche is a figure of speech by which a part is put for the whole. For example, I have four mouths to feed. Does we actually mean four mouths? No. By four mouths, we mean four people. There is a metaphor for thinking in the sentence, breathe it less gently forth, though I am not sure how is that a metaphor for thinking. There is also another metaphor in the same line, here the poet tells Elizabeth to close her eyes. There is a paradox in the last two lines of the poem. The last line presents a climax that the concepts of folly, pride, and passion are arranged in ascension. Poe uses it for the sake of emphasizing the concept present in the line. Well, that was a lot to think about. I hope you guys can benefit from this video and thanks for watching.